everyone, my name is Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Top 5 Wednesday video and this week's topic is your Top 5 Forgettable Books. I will leave all of the group information down below if you are interested in joining Top 5 Wednesday. When they talk about the forgettable books, it doesn't mean just because you didn't like them that they are forgettable. They could be books that you enjoy, but just for some reason they didn't stick with you. So I have kind of a mix on this list. Some are books that I did enjoy, but for some reason I just forget that I read them. And other ones I want to forget that I read them because I didn't like them. So the first book on my list is The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. Zentner? Sorry. I read this two years ago. I got this in an owl crate. And I enjoyed this book. For a contemporary kind of high school based story, which I don't typically read and I don't typically enjoy, I actually really enjoyed this one. But I just have a hard time remembering exactly what it was about and I don't really know why. Well, I remember kind of what it was about. It's got something to do with kind of three misfits who become friends and they all have their own struggles that they're going through right before they leave for college. And I think it's a very well done kind of finding yourself story. But I don't know why I don't talk about it more often and when I, it doesn't show up in more videos that I do because I did enjoy it and I think it was an important read, but I, I just, I forgot about it. The next book on my list is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. I actually really enjoyed this book. This book is so split on how people enjoyed it. They either hated it or they loved it. I think, sadly, one of the reasons people hate it is because it's a J.K. Rowling book that's not Harry Potter. And I was able to separate that in my mind while I was reading it, so I feel like I was able to give this my full opinion and I was able to forget that it was written by J.K. Rowling. I was able to forget that this isn't supposed to be Harry Potter, even though it's written by J.K. Rowling. She can write other things. And I really enjoyed it. This probably isn't a book for everyone just because it is a very character-driven novel, so if that's not your thing, then this won't be the book for you. But I really enjoyed it. It's about small town politics and small town drama. I found it really interesting and really heartbreaking and a very good look at small town dynamics and the way we interact with our neighbors and how we react to our neighbors in the sense of how we feel about public opinion. And I really enjoyed this and I should talk about it more because I think it was written extremely well and I enjoyed it a lot, but just don't talk about it enough. <laughs> the third book on my list is Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. And this was some sort of fairy tale retelling. I remember not really enjoying it. I found it very confusing, so I don't even think I could have told you what the book was about after I had just finished it because I was so confused as to what was going on. It was really out there. And while that might be some people's things, and usually it is my thing, I usually like books that are kind of out there and kind of odd but this was just so beyond the scope of odd that I had no idea what was going on. So it's forgettable because I, I had no idea what was going on even while I was reading it. For the number two slot is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. So this is like a 1700s Dutch story. It takes place somewhere in kind of Dutch Netherlands-like area. I'm not exactly sure what country to be specific, and it takes place somewhere in the scope of 1500s to 1700s. It's a big range, but it's somewhere in there. And it has to do with a wife and a miniature doll set or house or something. I remember thinking this book was okay. It was nothing spectacular, so that's why I think I don't remember it very much. Yeah, I, I like this is a hard top five Wednesday topic to do because what do you what do you say about books you don't remember because you don't remember them so you don't have a lot to say about them. So this will be a short video. And for the number one slot on my list is The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I want to forget about this book because I hated it so much. This was a super raved about God, 2010, 2009, somewhere in that time. It's pretty old now, but I hated this book. I hated it so much, so I have pushed it out of my mind, so it is forgotten. It is forgettable because I don't I don't want to I don't want it in my brain space anymore because I hated it a lot. I don't even remember why I hated it at this point, but I remember I did and I remember I did for a pretty good reason, but I don't remember what that reason was. 
So if you remember why you hated it, let me know down below because I don't. But that was my very quick list about books that I found forgettable for either good or bad reasons. This was a weird Top 5 Wednesday video, but until next time, I'll see you then. Happy reading. Bye. <laughs>